Hello again, my name is Chris Pierce King. Today I'm going to look at the topic of fillable forms. Now we do see a lot of customers creating their forms in Microsoft Word, but this process is prone to a lot of mistakes and it does limit your options for automation further down the process. And what I'd like to do is just show you what I mean. And so first of all, we're just going to go onto the internet and I'm going to do a search for GP radiology request form. So this, uh, this demonstration is applicable to healthcare, but I could have picked uh, banking, so finance. Uh, I could go and take a look at a change of address form that's out there on the internet. Lots of different formats uh, for, for people to, uh, to, people to uh, use and fill out and send back. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of examples here. So first of all, we're going to look at this GP radiology request form it's a standard form it's a Microsoft Word form and um, this is uh, this is uh, developed in Microsoft Word and what you'll see is it contains some form fields now if we just switch to uh, to Microsoft Word here so we can see the form fields we'll enable editing here now form fields are great um, but some issues with form fields in particular in the way this document's been put together so whilst we do have form fields you can see them there um, what we don't have is the ability for the user um, just to completely destroy the document and so there's a simple mistake that's been made here on this document so if I just sort of undo what I've done there um, Whilst the person uh, creating this document has created the, the word form, what they failed to do is, is actually secure the document for form filling. Um, if you don't have the developer tab here, then just, just take a, a look on the internet. There's lots of instructions how to add the developer tab. Um, but once you've got the developer tab, you have an extra option for restrict editing. You click on restrict editing and you can limit the format to a section of styles or you can edit uh, re restrict the editing here and we're going to use use this option to just filling in forms we're going to start enforcing I'm not going to put a password in but what you now see is that the user doesn't have the ability to edit the base text which is fantastic um, there is another issue here you know I can put in um, practice address so uh, line one but you can see I do still have the ability as the person filling in the form to completely destroy the form and if you've got some automation further down um, the business process where you're um, implementing forms recognition this is going to completely destroy um, your, your, your process so we're going to take a look on how we can take this form and turn it into a PDF form uh, which is much more akin to managing uh, a business process just quickly though, when we uh, when we did a search earlier for GP radiology request form here, we see one for uh, St George's Hospital, and another NHS hospital. When we open this form, um, this is even worse because this doesn't have any form fields at all, so we can completely destroy this form and, and delete sections, etc. So we do have to um, look for something, an alternative. And um, so if we just undo everything we've done here. We get to uh, get to the base document. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this Word document into a PDF. Now, if you have eCopy PDF Pro Office installed, you're going to have a virtual printer driver. Um, and uh, we can very simply just print this document to a virtual printer driver, um, which will um, print the document and we'll just save it to the desktop and what it'll do is it'll go ahead and convert the document now this is what they call an image PDF if I choose a little arrow here there's absolutely no form fields so we didn't carry over the form fields from the Microsoft Word document um, we're just going to recreate them so we started off with the basis of the form and we're just going to put the uh, put put the uh, form fields back on here question um, why we're looking for automation if we look at the information that's included with this particular PDF is that um, the person completing is asked to send the form to the address of the hospital um, or they could email it now obviously if it's a word document they're, they're going to completely destroy it. it's going to make someone's life very very difficult so um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use form fields within eCopy PDF Pro Office which is a nuanced product and we're going to uh, eventually get to the point where we can show how we can uh, add in some automation into uh, into the document so just 
in summary, uh, fillable PDFs don't suffer from the kind of issue that Microsoft Word documents have. And uh, th where we're going with this is that we're lend, you know, we're looking for PDF documents that lend themselves nicely to add in automation into your business process. So what we're going to do first of all is um, un under PDF Pro Office we have a forms. Uh, uh, dialog here so we can create different types of uh, buttons or check boxes or radio buttons or or text fields we also have those same options in the toolbar here so we can go ahead and we can just add some simple text boxes onto the document and so I can I can just basically give them uh, give them some options so that you can decide whether they have an outline color or not and they can give them a field name so ref name for example and um, we can choose lots of options whether it's aligned left to right multi-line scrolling uh, long text um, decide what actions this particular field have and um, what format the field has we can alter lots of things whether the field has any validation or if it's a calculated field for you know if you want to add up a number of uh, number of fields for example but um, we're just going to create some very very simple form fields and so you know we can just keep going so we'll call this uh, ref date and again you can change the outline color so we can actually change things um, for the same uh, field uh, or same value in a field so if I click between them you can see that uh, the field name changes so we can change lots of fields all at the same time just um, just so we uh, um, we don't uh, let's say open lots uh, lots of these um, I do have some that I created earlier so if I just open one where I've named all the fields and you'll be able to see exactly where I've got to so in uh, true Blue Peter fashion here's one I made earlier so I've completed all the fields now and um, I've gone through a fairly strict naming um, methodology so I've I've called these ref name ref practice ref address or ref addr and so i've made a note of all of the uh, all of the the names of my fields because they're going to become um, important later on but what you'll see if i just turn the um, uh, turn the fields off is that this is now fillable um, so i can tab between the fields and I can fill out this form blah 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 so now I've got a form that I can allow anyone any patient or any referrer GP to fill out and uh, print off the document or even take a copy by email and, uh, and and send it into the hospital which is fantastic but we'd like to take that one step further so um, what we'll now do is we'll just switch uh, again so I've actually added onto the bottom of my document a submit button so one of the nice things that we can do if I just go back and turn all the fields on is we can add buttons onto the form so with this particular button you can see I've got a fill color um, I haven't got an outline color I could just say yeah I want um, you know black outline color <coughs> and on uh, on the options we can um, label the form so I've got uh, submit form as my label and then actions I actually want something to happen when I push the button so if I don't have an action if I submit the button or submit the form nothing happens so what we want to do now is we want to start to create some form of uh, action uh, in this case I'm going to use JavaScript where I'm going to take in, uh, take a look or take a copy of all the data that the users uh, added to the form and what we're going to do is we're going to take that data out and we are going to um, use that to create an email so here's one I created earlier so as you can see um, all the form fields have all been completed so I've uh, completed the referring clinician the patient details I just want to point some really nice things out here so um, with 
PDF Pro Office with the Forms tool, you do have the ability to link fields. So in this case, check boxes to say, if I tick one, then untick the other. So as long as they're named the same, I'll just show you how that works. So if they're named the same gender, for, for example, in this case, and in the options, the export value would be different. So for if you tick the one for male, then the export value is male. If you tick the one for female, the export value is female. Um, but automatically, if you tick one, um, the other one will untick. Same with whether the, an interpreter is required, um, and the same for you know e, uh, is the patient pregnant or not pregnant, and uh, you'll get the appropriate information coming out of the form. So what I've done is I've completed the form and now if I hit the submit form button what you'll see is we'll have an email created. Um, it'll always go to the same email address that I've uh, actually added or hard-coded within the form and it will always in this case CC um, the referring uh, doctor so if I if I switch back to uh, if I switch back to the form then you'll see that there is a field for email address oh, sorry I've got I've uh, got this email open we'll show you that later um, but all of the information Crispius King Dr. Crispius King and the referring date and the, the address and all of the details from the form has been uh, extracted um, the completed form, so actually the completed PDF has been added to the email, um, but all of the information has also been added into the form, into the email. Now this allows for two things to happen. Number one, if that email address is monitored uh, with a hospital using uh, an automation tool like eCopy ShareScan or the, uh, the Nuance Auto Store product where we can actually monitor an email address and perform some forms recognition or uh, in the case of Autostore, directly take the information directly out of the body and, and those two products then have the ability to post that information into a, a third-party system, we could get some really nice automation um, uh, coming coming into play within uh, within the, the, the hospital. And um, if I just go back to the form, just to show you how that worked, and uh, often I get asked questions about how automation uh, works. So we're going to run a JavaScript, some relatively simple JavaScript. I'm not going to go into it uh, in too much detail, but you can see I've hard coded the email address in here. This is the CC field, so we're actually going to get the, the value of email address, so the field va uh, value there called email address, which I'll show you shortly. And then all we're going to do is we're going to, for every you know uh, label like refer a name in the email body, we're going to get the ref name. They're going to go and get the value out of the form. Then we're going to send the entire PDF file as an attachment and create uh, create the email. So really, really simple. If I just quickly just show you again up the top here, we have an email address. Now, in the original form, so if we go back to the original non-fillable form, there wasn't an email address here for the for the doctor to have uh, uh, an email address. So what we did is we used, uh, firstly, we used the typewriter tool. So if I use the typewriter tool, and that's somewhere about here, and I can type in email address, and then I can use my forms button to actually put in a form field, and we will change the outline color and we'll call that email ADDR and we'll close and now we have a fillable uh, mail at nuance.com so now we have a fillable form so this was Chris Viss King going through PDF fillable forms using eCopy PDF Pro Office, explaining why Microsoft Word forms are, are, are an issue within an, an organization's business process, and why you should look at PDF fillable forms, which allow themselves nicely to uh, automation further down the line, away from the patient or away from the doctor, and you get some efficiencies within uh, within either a hospital or a financial organization or government, local government. And uh, any questions, please don't hesitate to contact Contact your local friendly Nuance uh, uh, technical consultant or regional sales manager. Thank you for your time.